Well, we are talking masks tonight. This is what one of them looks like. Of course, you've seen images of people wearing them. I even saw a woman wearing one outside a drugstore today, but experts say there's a right way to wear them and that they're not for everyone. New concern tonight about protecting you and your family from the coronavirus, prompting Louisiana leaders in Washington to get answers. Do we Clinton. have enough face masks? We, uh, for the Department of Homeland Security, we I'm do. I'm not asking for the Department of Homeland Security. Are you looking? I'm asking for the American people. For the, for the entire American public? Yes. No. You've seen people wearing them, and just in the last two weeks, we showed you stores sold out of these protective face masks. But the CDC says if you're not sick, you shouldn't wear it. A mask is actually for an individual who presents with the symptoms in order to reduce transmitting those particles, and for the healthcare workers taking care of the patient at the time. Dr. Lewis Minsky with Baton Rouge General says people who aren't sick typically take off the mask to talk to people, defeating the purpose. Let's go through the process of the right way of putting a mask on. Absolutely. I don't think there's necessarily a right way to put it on, but you certainly want to make sure that it's well fitted once you do have it on. So the two earpieces cover over your ear. Yes, so you're going to pull the bottom down over the chin. There you go, it spreads out. And then there's a wire across the top, which you can kind of push against oh, yeah. your nose and against your upper cheek area so that it's fitted across the top. There's no leakage there. You've got no leakage here because it's pulling tight. Mm -hmm. And then your sides are flattened out on either side to keep air from exiting outside. We've been told to prepare for when it occurs, not just if it occurs. Dr. Frank Welch, the medical director for Community Preparedness for Louisiana, says the state has been getting ready for something like the coronavirus for 20 years. He says the symptoms of the virus called COVID-19 are very similar to the flu. Welch says the state was sent a faulty test, so they had to send it back, but there's no concern about a backlog of testing at the CDC. The best thing people can do, given that it's really a bad cold for most people, mm -hmm. is Dr. Minsky agrees. We really ought to think about the things that we can easily do and that we can do well. Now, both doctors say washing your hands, covering your mouth when you cough, and doing the classic vampire sneeze are ways to prevent spreading both the coronavirus and the flu.